Welcome everyone to a casted game for Stormgate and today we have got Parting versus Coffee. We are on the map Secluded Grove, spawning in the southwest corner of the map. Playing in purple we have got Parting, playing as the Infernal Host faction, opening up with a nice early iron vault and his opponent in the northeast, also playing as the Infernals, playing in blue. We have got Coffee, likewise opening up with an iron vault, but a little bit later than his opponent, so it's going to be interesting to see how that factors in. Now mirror matches are fascinating because we can kind of look at the different builds and what the options they go for and it kind of shows you maybe different ways different styles to play the same faction and how they match up against each other of course in this mirror match it's gonna be an interesting one we're gonna be seeing an imp worker already going up to ethereum there for parting which is gonna help gather some uh, theorem for later on most likely we shall see what he decides to do with that maybe getting a shadow cleft a little bit early we'll have to see because it's quite likely on this map you go for an early expansion is quite often the case with the infernal mirror match kind of expecting the same to happen today and of course, the Iron Vault will help get a Brute onto the map just to protect that second base expansion. There it is. There's that Imp Worker moving to the second natural expansion spot there for parting. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content on the channel so far. Plenty of casted content coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And there it is. There's a great animation. I love it. The Infernal Imp Worker sacrificing himself for the shrine to be summoned. And it looks like Coffee's going to do the same, bringing that Imp Worker to the natural expansion. The Brutes on the field now are going to be looking to lock horns, hack and slash each other, going toe to toe with this Infernal Mirror match. Now it's kind of fascinating this map because um, with the third base expansion that might come a little bit later, you've got two options. You can go to the edge of the map on the north or the south depending on which player you're you know, looking from that perspective. But you can also go a little bit closer towards the middle. Perhaps we'll talk about that when it does happen or if it does happen, who knows. It might have a crazy ending in the early game. In any case, two Brutes go toe to toe and they head back away from each other now. And uh, just bear in mind this game is in development in beta stages, so it's going to be available in the Steam Next Fest as well in early February 2024. Make sure you wishlist the game on Steam because it really helps out in terms of getting exposure for the game if you enjoy RTS. That's one way to support the genre. Of course, Stormgate looking to uh, you know, bring a lot of players into the genre of RTS, and I'm pretty excited for it. Two Brutes now coming for parting, looking to put some pressure on. And there's the two Brutes. Almost went for that vision camp, but thought better of it. Maybe we can take the engagement now. They do hack slash. In fact, Parting gets the first hit, which is very significant. Well, there's a very weak Brute there now for Coffee. He might split that off into two Fiends. So let's just see. Parting has a weak Brute as well. They both do split off. And this is going to be a good engagement because Parting, his Brute was still working there. His Brute was still hacking and slashing on those Fiends, which are pretty weak. The Fiends back away there for Coffee. Well, they kind of got another hit there. And he takes another hit there. There's a Brute there coming forward for Coffee. So he should be able to push this back. But overall, a decent opening there for Parting, all things considered. And well, it's going to now look to take that vision cramp. Going to be tanking it with the brute, as you can see. The fiend's going to do the rest of the work. Although Coffee might look to challenge us, he might look to creep jacket. Two fiends spawn from that weak brute, and he does get the the creep camp in the end. He gets the extra vision there, parting as you can see by the purple raider on the little doggo, which is of course a placeholder artwork. I'm sure we'll change and see lots of more other changes as well as the game is developed. Now both players are on that second base expansion and uh, looking to now get some conclaves. So that's going to be giving access to the gaunt which is very interesting now something we've seen parting do quite often is uh open up with a shadow cleft and what that does it gives uh, a nice little bit of a, an upgrade that you can get for the gaunts which allow them to infest their opponents now that upgrade is called hemoglave infusion which increases the unit's movement speed by 50 percent but also allows its bowsing glaives weapon to infest enemy units so if the enemies die whilst infested it spawns two fiends for you which is a fantastic snowball mechanic really packs a punch and so we might be expecting to see that pretty early of course with that building it's researched in the shadow cleft looks like parting is looking to really prioritize that and now is looking to get a conclave himself so good timings on these things now bear in mind as well another really important i guess uh mechanic to talk about for the infernals is the rituals from the shroud stone they've got four potential rituals they can spend energy on um and one in particular i want to really focus on is especially on mirror matches, is Bring Darkness. Bring Darkness infects enemy units in a target area with the infest and reduces their vision by 50% for 10 seconds. And it's incredibly strong because it means when you're taking a fight and if you deploy this ritual, it you know any enemy you kill, you get two fiends from it. And it can really, really do wonders for you, especially because it changes things. Like if you think it's going to be an even fight in terms of numbers at least, well, think again. If you drop down this Bring Darkness ritual, Boy, oh boy, does it work in your favor. Speed camp going to be taken there. There's that little flower there on the right side, by the way, that is actually some resources, particularly on this map. You do get some flowers that give you some health. This one actually gives you some uh, resources. I can't quite remember if it's Luminite or Ethereum. Sometimes it can be either. 
Either way, he's going to get some good speed, which is something that the brutes need, actually. They're particularly slow. And we do see a, a farm there, meat farm. But the fell hogs looking to defend, obviously increase that population supply. Gone with double um, iron vault there. So you're looking to maybe get a couple more brutes on the field. Parting with the single conclave, but adding two more. Also sending an imp worker down to the southeast. I think it looks like he's got a third base expansion. There it is. Yeah, he does. And he's also got a shrine, which will give him access to those rituals. One of them being that bring darkness ritual, which will infect the enemy with the infest, which is actually fantastic in particular fights, which we'll see if that comes through play here today. I suspect it will because it's such a really commonly used ritual and I've seen Parting use it time and time again. In any case, it looks like that's going to be a good defensive point uh, for um, Coffee. Has that Shroud Stone to protect that entrance to that second base expansion. Looking to long mine that Therium. Going to get another Iron Vault, which is actually a curious decision. It means probably more Brutes, but I mean, I've got to favor the Gaunts because the reason why is because the Gaunts, not only they're a ranged unit, but they have that ability to infest their enemies and that can turn the tide of a fight for sure with Hemoglave Infusion, that ability for those Gaunts. I, I mean, I'd be kind of interested to see how this fight goes. Bear in mind the numbers might be a little bit better for parting as time wears on because he's got that third base expansion. Now he's actually looking to move out which is kind of cautious for Coffee. He's got to be careful of that and we'll see. He might be heading to a big fight sooner or later because this is kind of the timing six, seven minutes where we're expecting an Infernal Mirror match to really start to Know, get heated up now i don't know if we quite see it as relevant but with the map control that parting now has he could actually go for that central secluded grove if he does break through with the magmadon that's always an option looks like the third base expansion coming out for coffee here in a slightly different location to the third base expansion for parting and i like that third base expansion there for coffee because that actually has a Therium patch very close by whereas the third base expansion for parting does not. So that could play a role, but in any case, the big aggression comes in for parting with a lot of those Gaunts. Brutes coming from the south there for coffee, looking to put some pressure on. But Magmadon getting a good charge attack on those backline Gaunts there for coffee. That's an issue. The Gaunts go down for coffee. That could be a massive issue. A lot of those Brutes are infested there for coffee. Those Brutes, when they go down, those are going to become fiends. And those, oh, take a look at it. The Brutes actually just complete transformed into fiends but more importantly the bring darkness ritual came out there for parting it all happened so quick there look at those fiends now for parting because those fiends for coffee went down from the bring darkness ritual they were infested it meant that every fiend that parting took down he got two more out of his own so that was absolutely huge a massive ritual he uses it again on the workers and the nib workers and I think, ladies and gentlemen, that's probably going to be the GG. Coffee absolutely undone by that Shroud Stone ritual. Bring darkness. Parting. Bringing the darkness to this match. Totally obliterating that army. And there it is. We've got to see an action replay because this was great. You can see the brutes there fighting off. And they have been infested a lot of them already from the gorse. And there it is. They split off into the fiends. And then you saw that massive green hue. That was the Bring Darkness ritual. I hope you guys enjoyed this casted game, and if you did, then you're almost definitely going to enjoy the next one, which is taking a look at the Vanguard Flak Cannon. Click the end card on your screen right now to watch that one.